Assalamu alaikum, this is Dr. Munder. In the previous lesson, we learned how we do DES encryption for the plain text, and uh, we assume that we already have the key. But what happened that we have 16 rounds in the DES, and each round will have a separate key. So we need to generate 16 key. Today, we learn how to generate 16 keys from the main key. So let's assume that we have this key. Uh, this key is 64 bit. And we need to generate what? We need to generate uh, 16 uh, key from this main key. So what are the main steps that we do uh, actually to generate the key? Now, um, let's, let's uh, start. Now, the first step is called uh, permutation choice one, which is basically convert the 64 bits into 56 bits. So in order to do that, we have a matrix, and this matrix will be used to rearrange the bits uh, into uh, different positions, and also uh, we'll get only 56 bits. So this is the matrix. Let's get the matrix and start rearranging the text. Okay, this is the matrix. It's called PC1. We have to arrange the uh, bits in the key according to the position in the matrix. So let's start the first position in the matrix is 57. I'm going to go to the position 57 and the 57 is contained 0. So I'll put here 0 and then the second uh, element is 49. What is in 49 here? We have 0 and then after that we have 41. What is in 41 is 1 actually. So 1 and then after that, 33, and then what's in 33 is 0. So we're going to put 0 here. And then after that, we have 25. What is in it? 25 is 1. Yes. And then 17. What is in 17 is 0. And the last uh, bit in the first row is 9. What is in 9? 9, 9 is one and then you go and continue with the rest of the row until you have a full matrix uh, so i'm just, just gonna finish it we'll come back when we finish it okay this is the matrix and i'll generate it so now we converted the uh, 56 uh, 64 bit into 56 let's just put them in one line to see uh, how we do we just copy them and put them in one line like this and we have to uh, you know be careful when we copy that Okay, now we put them in, in uh, one line. As you can see that, that we will have uh, 56 bits. Uh, let's count the bits and see how many bits we have. Okay, now we have 56 bits. Um, yes, let's make that one smaller. As you can see that we have a 56 bits. So the result. Okay, now what is the next step? Now this step is called PC1. It will done only will be done only one time, and after that we don't do it anymore. Okay, so let's see what are the next steps that to generate these keys. Now the steps to do that is very easy and simple. These are the steps how we do it. Okay, these are the steps how we do it. So now after that we have to split it into two halves. 28 bit, 28 bit. So let's go and split it into two halves. So I'm just gonna uh, separate them into two halves, like the algorithm. It was the first half here, and then I'm gonna take the second half separately and just put a space between them. Copy, and I'm gonna paste this here. Uh, paste it here, yes. So this is the first half. Uh, let's write here the first half so we know exactly uh, this is the let us say uh, C L I or oh, C L I minus one. This is the first one, uh, and then this one is called what the D L I minus one, as in the diagram. D L I minus one. Okay. So this is the round one. Shift. Now we have to do what we have to do the second step, which is left shift for each one separately. And now the left shift is different. If you have uh, one round, uh, one round, or two round, or nine, or round number nine, or round number, or round number uh, sixteen, you do for this one what you do for this one um, only what you do for this one one shift. Otherwise, if the round is other than one and two and three and four, you do what you do two shifts. So now in round one, we are in round one. We have to do uh, left shift 
uh, one bet only. So what we do left chat uh, only take the bet on the left side and put it on the right side. So this is how we do it. Uh, so uh, copy this one. Um, yeah. And just put it on the right side. Okay. So I'm going to have to do left shift. Okay. I'm just going to copy this one. Okay. Except the left bet. Okay. And start from here after the left bet shift. Control V. So the, le the le first one is goes into the first uh, position here because just one shift. If it's two shift, then you have to copy two things. The same thing we do for this one separately. Okay, I'm gonna have to uh, put them like this. Start from here, and the first bit will go where? Will go at the end right here. Okay, well, let's just put it right here. One. Okay, so this is after the shift. Now we did what? We did the left shift right here. Okay, after the left shift, we have to do um, now. These two are separately now. Before we go on are going to the second round as they are this is the first half and the second half will become c2 and d2 and c2 will go to the uh, second round now for this round we have to do pc2 now we have 56 bet okay we have to join them together again okay join them together in one string and we have to do what we have to do the pc pc2 the pc2 basically convert 56 bit into what into 48 bit because we need a key of length what 48 bit so the output from pc2 is basically 48 bit so if you count how many bits here uh, still 56 because we only have done the shift uh, we haven't done like uh, uh, that much so the number of bits still the same 56 bit yes now let's go down a little bit and uh, bring the uh, PC1 matrix, which is basically, we'll do the same thing that we did in PC1. We rearrange that uh, in, in different position. So let's bring the matrix and see how we do it. Okay, now this is, uh, I'm going to put the uh, PC matrix right here, uh, in here. Okay, uh, bring it right here and put it right here as a picture. This is the PC2 let's arrange the matrix based on this pc2 so the first position is number 14 here according to this matrix in 14 we have zero uh, and also 15 down let's go down in 15 uh, we have one and go down to this one 26 uh, we have one as well and in 41 here we will have zero uh, this is 0 and 41 and 51 we will have uh, this is 51 0 yes and continue the last one uh, in the first column is 34 the 34 is actually 1 and we continue uh, to fill uh, the best position right here according to this matrix I have filled the matrix according to the position and rearranged the 56 bit according to the position right here. Now, as you can see, some of the bits are already gone. It's not filled. So this is uh, done by PC1. I'll convert the PC1. And this is the output from PC2. So it's supposed to be, what, 48 bits. So I'm going to make them just one line here to see if they are 48 bit or not um, here. Control V and copy the second as well. And make them just one line. And this key will be used in the first round. Okay, this key will be used for the first round. And um, almost done. Here we go. And this is the last row. Just make them one line for so to do the XOR in there and as you can see if you count the bits how many bits we have uh, we will have 48 bits now this is the key that we will use to uh, in the first round and in, uh, in the second round you have to generate a new key so I'm gonna take uh, these two after the shift after the shift okay after the shift these two will take them uh, down here and start the second round. I'll take them here and start the second. This is key number two. We're going to generate key number two. So I'll just uh, put them here. 
and start the same process again and again. So these become what after the shift in round two for the key we have to go and uh, start again the same process okay now this one will become what this one will become um, C2 okay and this one will become uh, D2 this one is D2 and then we go also and do what and do uh, again okay do the same thing we do uh, left shift again we do the left shift as we did before and then after the left shift we do what we do PC2 and then the same steps we already done here and then we go until the sixth round we continue that until we generate what until we generate key number 16 for the last round now this is how we actually generate the key uh, first of all, we have to have to do a one-time process called PC1, and this is the matrix. They arrange the bits uh, according to this matrix, and that will convert the 64 bits into 56 bit. After that, we have to split the 56 bit into two halves, 28 bit each, and then do a left shift um, separately for each one. Uh, the, the number of shift could be one shift or two shift. If we have one round, the round number one or round number two or round number nine or round number 16, we do only one shift. Otherwise, we do two shift. Um, now, after the shift, we have to put them into uh, PC2, which is, this is the matrix, and this matrix will generate the key for 48 bit. Um, then at the same time we have to start for the second round uh, we take the uh, two halves after the shift and then we start again doing what the same process of again doing still uh, left shift and then PC2 and then after that left shift and PC2 and so on. that's how we actually generate um, a 16 uh, key from the main key that provided to us 64 bit.